What you don't understand is... Ten. Morgan is still evolving. Nine. The people in this house are in danger. Eight. It needs to be terminated. Seven. Six. Don't be afraid. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. I'm starting to feel like myself. <laughs> well, what a what an interesting movie. I mean, because all this talk about automated cars and everything, and and yeah. I know it's not a direct connection in this, but just the whole AI, the world we live in, it just seems like these movies are coming closer to reality. How close do you think we are to like there really being some underground labs with beautiful Morgans in there? <laughs> I think it's um. It's funny that you say underground because that was something that Luke oh, actually yeah. said to me on set. Like, I think I was I was getting ready to do, you know, like a, a fight moment or something like that, and I was kind of in my own head, and he sort of came up to me out of the blue and goes, you know, I'm pretty sure this has been done somewhere in, like, some underground bunker. Hmm. And, like, walked off, and I was like, <laughs> okay, cool. But Ridley certainly seems to yeah. think that... Um, it's that is happening. Happening or, close, or to. close to happening or happened. So that's uh, pretty frightening. Yeah. Well, I know I know you guys have, you know, trained as actors and everything else. But how do you act as something that's a art that's a robot or artificial intelligence? Like, what's what's the little intricacies from not being human to being like an AI? Like, what's some what would be something that you know you had to portray on screen that's different? I mean, I. I, I work very internally. My characters are, you know, incredibly real for me, and I, I love them very much. And so I didn't approach her any differently than I would have approached anyone apart from the physical aspects. And the physical aspects lend a lot to the character. But um, I think instead of, you know, just focusing so much on, like, you know, being AI, I was focusing on what would it be like for everything to be completely new and to not really know anything, but at the same time know everything. And, you know, how would you... How would you react to that? And so I just spent a lot of time with Morgan, I guess, in my head, and then the physical aspects brought everything together. There was, there is, without giving too much away, there's a moment in the beginning that um, Anya has with where she's just sort of looking at her. Well, I guess it's towards the middle as well, but yeah. she's looking at her hands. Mm -hmm. And we, Luke came up to us before we started shooting and said, sort of create this thing that you both have that I don't even know, I don't need to know what it is. I want you to do it during the scene and then They'd eventually. They didn't want to know. Yeah. yeah. And so we just sort of created that. And that was, I think that was sort of, and we didn't really talk about it very much. We just no. kind of did it without yeah. saying much. But, um, but that definitely is uh, for the AI in it, yeah. her. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that was a fun thing to sort of create because, you know, it was completely out of our imaginations. Mm -hmm. And um, and then we found an emoji for it, and then that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> if, we'd, if, we, if, we'd done good, if we'd done good work, we'd send each other this emoji and be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Morgan. You know who I am? Yes, of course. You're Lee Weathers, risk management consultant at Sensec. And why are you? to assess my viability as a potential product stream in light of recent events. How are you feeling, Morgan? Not quite myself. Yeah, Morgan's been quite upset. I didn't mean to hurt her. It was an error of judgment. I made a mistake. It's OK now, Morgan. It's all right. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Nice to meet you, Morgan. So you came off a very busy year last year with, with three feature films. Like, as, as an actress, what is the pacing like for when you're working and you have so many projects coming out and you're looking at other projects? Is it better to have breaks between it when you're working a lot? Is it are you more in your flow as an actress? Or, or does it, it, um, it really depends on what's going on um, personally and also, you know, what movies are happening when. I mean, that was kind of a crazy year for me. And then um, when I finished Morgan, I did this other mer film about a Marine. Yeah. Um, and when I, I wrapped that in December, I haven't worked since then. Mm. Um, which is the longest time I've ever gone without working. It's been like nine months. Yeah. Um, I needed, mentally I needed a break. I was just ready for it. Um, and now I'm like, now I can't wait to get back to work and 
I'm going to do two movies back to back, and I'm totally happy to do that. You're producing one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so it kind of goes from like chaos to there's nothing to do. Um, yeah. But I but I kind of love that about the job. Well, as long as we get to see you on screen. Oh, thanks. Several times a year. <laughs> we also can't wait to see you in more projects. So <laughs> thank you guys for